Grand Manan is an island in the Bay of Fundy whose primary industry is fishing. The most lucrative fishery is the lobster fishery, and the most commonly used bait is herring and mackerel because it's been historically abundant and a natural target for lobsters. But the herring and mackerel stocks have been steadily decreasing. Now, a new type of bait is being used that just might bring back the stocks. On this particular morning, Mark Prevost is testing a bait he made that uses only 25% fresh fish. I'm being a little cautious because there's a lot of deer here yesterday. I'm surprised at some of the older guys that uh, are willing to try it. You know, they assume that I'm trying to sell something that's better than mackerel or herring. I have to tell them, you know, it's, 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 it's not fishing any better. The, the, the data shows that fish is just as good, but it fishes longer. So the hope today is with, um, with a two-day set, there'll be a little bit more lobster because I would have eroded slower than the mackerel and the herring that he's already used. I hope so. Morning. In 2005, reported landings of Atlantic mackerel were over 50,000 tons. In 2015, 10 years later, landings were just under 5,000 tons. These herring and mackerel stocks are currently considered to be in the critical zone by Fisheries and Oceans Canada scientists. It's in the blood, I suppose you'd say. It's some people love it, some people don't. My brother has two sons. One works for the Bank of Nova Scotia because he gets deathly seasick, and the other one's fishing with him. So you never know what's going to come of it. The lobster fishery has grown exponentially in the last 20 years. People want to have the fishery there for their children. You're dependent on stocks and trying to maintain a balanced ecosystem. The balance in the ecosystem has been decidedly shifted. It takes almost two pounds of bait to catch one pound of lobster. There's definitely not as many herring as there was years ago. Anything that you can do to reduce the amount of input protein with your output protein, you're gaining. It's a matter of getting something that works. Mark hopes that his bait will be the key to keeping the fishery sustainable for the next generation. You can see it there. So it's 65% byproduct, 10% dried fish, still 25% whole fish in here. Just wash out. It'll be good for another five, five days. I'm pretty excited about the whole thing. The catch seems to be pretty good too. Instead of using two bags of traditional, they're just using one. At this point, like this year, 2021, I should sell a two million of them. That's a lot. If it all ended, I had two million of those in the water, I, I saved like 10 million fish. Which is pretty good. I've accomplished something in my life. Yeah, yeah it's 